Hello everyone, Ken here from the Computer Clan, here today with a demo of the new version of Windows 8.1. We have done videos on Windows 8.1 before, but now this is the new update that was released on April 8th of 2014. So Microsoft's going to be improving Windows 8 now with these additional updates. So let's take a look at some of the new features in Windows 8.1 Update 1. One of the more important things I'd like to start with is that the new system update is more hardware aware. What that means is if you're on a touch device, by default, Microsoft will give you this modern UI experience. These tiles are more optimized for touch. If you're using a traditional keyboard and mouse setup like myself, Microsoft also has the system change to that kind of hardware. For example, when I boot up the computer, by default, my desktop is shown. Another change you may notice right away is that there's a power button here. Before, the shutdown process was a little lengthy. The normal way you would do it is go to the corner, trigger your charms, go to settings, and then go to power. That's too many steps to simply turn off your computer. You might as well yank the plug. Just kidding, don't do that. But now it's simplified in Windows 8.1 Update 1. You just click, and then click. Restart, shut down, sleep. Pretty simple. The same goes for the search button. Before, once again, you had to go to your charms, click search, and then type something. Or you could just type right on the start screen, right? But that wasn't that obvious to a lot of users. Now they see the magnifying glass and they're like, oh, that's search. Click it, search something, get your results. Let's see, Windows Update, that's what I want. Click it and we're good to go. And the last change I'd like to cover for the start screen is the new contextual menus. I can now right click and get standard contextual menus that give me options for these tiles. In the prior version of Windows, I'd have to right click and go to the bar at the bottom of the screen, back and forth, back and forth, too much mouse travel for doing simple things. But now I can simply right click and get my options through this traditional menu that I'm sure most of us are familiar with. Microsoft is still working on merging the two interfaces together because in prior versions of Windows, this modern UI experience was kind of a separate world from the desktop and that was disorienting to a lot of users. So now they are bringing multitasking across this experience and the desktop experience all in the taskbar. So let's open up some applications and I'll show you what I mean. And let's do one more. Let's open up the Windows Store. So now I have all these apps open. And previously, you would typically go to this multitasking panel and switch between the applications like this. Or you could just click in the corner. And if you're on the desktop, these items wouldn't show up in your taskbar, and it would be rather confusing. But now they do. All of those applications I was just running are now in the taskbar, right next to my standard Windows apps. If I need to open up Internet Explorer, I can, right here, and I can use the application. Maybe I need to look for a file, so I can open up the regular Windows Explorer here. And all these icons will just stay in the same area, the area that we're all familiar with, the taskbar. So I can switch between these apps, and the bar will stay there until I move away. It's rather simple. No more separation. They're unifying the experiences much more conveniently. Another change you may have seen pop up already is the title bars up here. These weren't here before, but now you have a title bar to tell you what app you're in. You can even drag that title bar. Just like before with the dragging, you can drag down to snap or close the app. That's still in there. But you also get your little icon over here that also serves as a menu. If you click, you get your split options. You can minimize and close right from there. And you get minimize and close up in the corner here, just like on regular Windows apps. So if I minimize, it goes right down to the bottom where the taskbar is. And if I'm on the desktop, I can go back to that app right here. I can restore it. So once again, minimize, restore. Pretty simple. And I can just close right from there, and it fades away in the taskbar. And you may be wondering this, but that little shortcut where you can double click the icon and close the app, that's still in here. Double click, the app goes away. Just like with Windows apps, standard Windows apps, you just double click, close, double click, close. They still have that in the modern UI environment. And you can also close from the taskbar if you wish. Since I have the control panel open, I might as well show you this little new setting. The disk space option now tells you what kind of files are taken up certain amounts of space on your computer's hard drive. You even have an empty recycle bin option right there. And now as you saw right there, before if I would have closed an app, it would have gone to my start screen. If there was nothing else there, that's typically what it would do. But like we said earlier, it's more hardware aware. I'm on a traditional computer, so it gave me the desktop experience. So, those are some of the changes in update one. Future updates will have features such as running these modern UI applications in a window, 
and the return of the start menu. So right now when you click the Windows logo, it goes in between the start screen and the desktop here. While in the next update, they're gonna be bringing a start menu back that unifies the traditional menu with the start screen. And that stuff will be shown in the future. Let me know what you think of Windows 8.1 Update 1. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Revision is the Computer Clan's upcoming largest and most complex film to date. Fund it now on Indiegogo to help make this incredible film come to life. If you do choose to back this project, we promise you, you will not regret it.